Coming right up, we've got all the race action from the 3rd A Main at the World Championships. But first, let's meet some of the drivers taking part. In a moment, Americans Paul Lemieux and Rick Howard. But first, the defending world champion, Mark Reinhardt of Germany. Mark Reinhardt, we're here at the World Championships and you're the man with something to lose because you're the current world champion. Yeah, I think I've, there's nothing to lose. I think everybody can fight, everybody wins the race, so it's really a close race, so many people can win. Now, obviously, uh, how, how big is the, uh, the on-road scene back in Germany? Uh, maybe it's not as big as in the US, but it's uh, getting bigger and bigger in Germany too. So f some, some are getting bigger, some lose a, little, a few drivers, so, but it's still okay. So when did you start uh, on, the, on the sticks or the wheel then? I started racing when I was seven. I started racing and I got a trophy modified since 2002, and I started to go to bigger races. And now, obviously, you, you're a, a full-time Tamiya race driver. Do you, are you, do you actually work for Tamiya, or, or do you just race full-time? No, I'm just racing. It's not a full-time job for me. I'm working in my father's company, so it's, uh, it's a kind of hobby. <laughs> not only the business like other guys here. So, I mean, you are, I suppose, really the, the, the favourite coming into this event, aren't you? You've, you've been very successful in most of the on-road events. You've, you've won all around the world. So, do you feel extra pressure as the favourite? No, I go in this race like in all other races too. So, it's... It's, it's a world championship, but it's still a race, so I will do my best, like in every race. Now, it's very warm here, it's been warm most places. Why do you insist on wearing a hat? I only wear it in the, when I'm racing. In the practice, I use a normal hat, but now I use a beanie because every time I use a beanie, it's a good success, so I just keep it going like this. It's not, it's not like the sponsor saying, oh, Mark, you're associated with a beanie, now you've got to wear it. No, 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 no. <laughs> I just do it for myself to, to have everything the same on every race. Now, obviously, you are the on-road world champion. I mean, what, what, are the, what other classes are you toying with? I've, I've seen you you're at the, uh, the off-road nationals, and you've done 12th. Are you going to start doing IC racing as well? Um, I will do my 12th scale again, and uh, I go this year to race off-road Euros. And maybe next year, I'll try uh, some gas car races. Do you think it's a different set of skills required in on-road and off-road cars? Yeah, it's a big difference. It's completely, completely different. I like on-road on more, but off-road is a lot of fun. And if I was to tell you there was a race meeting anywhere in the world, where would you like to go race? I want to go to Australia one time. I've never been there. So I was in America, Japan, Thailand, but I want to go one time to Australia. No, thanks so much. Okay. Paul Lemieux, you're the man leading the American charge here at the moment at the world. How difficult is it to take part in a competition 5,000 miles from home? Um, it's hard at first, but after you do a few of them, it's not too bad. You know, you get to know your way around. It's a little weird just having to rely on other people and things when you're not in the U.S., but it's okay. It's not too bad. It's not a hinder, I don't think, to our performance necessarily. Now, obviously, you're, we're doing asphalt racing, and that's the, the common boundary between the U.K. and the U.S. So on, on that front, in fact, in some ways, because the weather in America, you actually get more good weather testing than the Europeans do. Yeah, it's... um. It's kind of tough. We, we only do a few races a year in the U.S., and we focus so much on the carpet season that sometimes it takes away from our asphalt effort. But it seems like all the Americans have worked pretty hard for this race, so we'll see how it happens. Certainly the, um, the X-ray car is very much set up for the, the carpet, or the rug, as you Americans call it, and, and foam tires. I mean, it, that's a very different discipline, isn't it? Oh, definitely. Um, in the U.S., the, the car is really, really good. It, it's great here as well. Um, they get to race it on a carpet with rubber tires. It's just really so, so many different you know ways to do it. But this week, I'm so happy with the car. I don't I don't think I could have a better car than I have right now. You know, so it's good. What, what's your background? I mean, are you a guy who's only ever done on road, or did you start many years ago doing stuff in on dirt tracks? I've dabbled a little bit in dirt, but I've never been too good at it at all. <laughs> so mainly on road. Started in touring car when touring car first started to begin to be big and. Um, just kind of gone from there. Now, as one of the top Americans, is this your 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 job as such, or is it a hobby and you, you work somewhere else? Um, right now, this is my job. Just recently, about for the last six months or so, um, we'll see if I need to get a regular job again or not. But right now, yeah, this is what I'm. This is all I'm doing. Well, that depends on how well you do this weekend. Yeah, this is definitely part of it there. <laughs> Paul, thanks a lot. Thank you. I'm here with Rick Howard, who is one of the two Americans to make the A final. Rick, is it difficult to come over so far and, and, and do well? Uh, it's not difficult. Most of the tracks around the world are, are similar, and we had a lot of our racing team testing here. So 
to come here. We had a lot of information and we're pretty prepared. So how did you approach the weekend? Uh, just get a lot of practice in and, you know, just keep it light, have some fun, and the good results will come when you have fun. Now, you qualified fifth for the A final, which is obviously a very good performance. But again, it's, it's interesting, really, apart from Paul Lemieux, the rest of the Americans have not done so well. And we always kind of a wave of, 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 of talent to come over. Any ideas why? Uh, I think a lot, of the, a lot of the racing in the U.S. is done on carpet, so it's a different surface than what we're racing on here. So a lot of the specialists for carpet struggle on this type of surface. I don't really have a specialty, and I typically don't race carpet, so I don't have any preconceived notions about car setup and can come here kind of a, with an open book and do better that way. Now, Rick, you don't want me to say, you've got gray around the temples. You're obviously one of the senior. Uh, how, how long have you been in the game? Uh, it's been, let's see, 24 years. Uh, of constant success? Yeah, pretty <laughs> much, pretty much. <laughs> and whereabouts in the States do you actually live? I live in Southern California, Orange County. So that would mean you probably get to race outdoors all year? Yes, <laughs> yes. So again, that must be a big edge to the guys in the south. I was in the northern part of the states. It's, um, it's even wetter and colder than back home in the UK. Yeah, they don't have the, the constant uh, ability to practice like we do. Rick, thanks for talking to us. Best of luck for the rest of the weekend. Right, Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. Before we see the action from the final leg of the A main, let's recap the story so far. In leg one, Andy Moore led away easily in a mostly uneventful race. That was until the last lap when Japanese legend Masami Hirosaka tried an ambitious move on the Brit, but came off worse, as Andy recovered to victory, followed home by reigning world champion Mark Reinhardt with Masami himself in third. The second leg was full of incident, as off the starting line Masami again tagged Andy earning himself a stop-go penalty and putting Mark Reinhardt into the lead, closely followed by the American Paul Lemieux. A bit too close it transpired as Paul hit Mark's car, causing him to retire, and Paul, fearing a stop-go penalty, held back and let fellow American Rick Howard and Britt Craig Drescher through. They tracked each other lap after lap until two laps from the end when Craig suffered an electrical failure. Then, astonishingly, Rick's car broke down the same lap, allowing